Thanks for joining us. Um, if there's anything you want to say, feel free. Otherwise, we'll just get into questions. Questions are cool. All right. Um, Christos, why don't you go ahead and get started? Hey, Kayla. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, what's your mindset in this in this camp so far? And speaking about leadership and to be vocal in this training camp with your teammates, what did you learn from uh, SEAL to be a vocal leader, to be a leader actually on the on, on and off the floor? I mean, I think the biggest thing that I learned from SEAL is just to kind of do it in my own way. I don't think that there's one way to kind of lead. Um, but, you know, I think with Syl, especially in these types of settings, she's always led by example. So to be able to do that uh, and do the right things and do them over and over again, I think that's that's what USA Basketball is about. It's about finding your role and, and being, the, being the star in your role. Um, and so just being able to do that, talk when I need to. Obviously, I know Cheryl's system and I know the things that she wants and that she expects um, from a Minnesota Lynx aspect. So to kind of bring that back into the, into the USAB setting um, is definitely, you know, it's helped me a lot. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Jen? Hey, Kayla, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Just curious, kind of a, a big picture question for you, you know, as, as a vet in the W and um, with the season kind of wrapping up here and, and kind of a moment of transition, you know, with the World Cup coming up and overseas play coming up, just curious as you, as you look at kind of the landscape of women's basketball, like, what do you think the health is of, of women's basketball in this country? What do you think is kind of next steps that, that we need to do, um, you know, overall to, to move it forward? I mean, I think it's growing daily, daily. Um, obviously, you know, watching these games and watching, you know, seeing the fans in the stands, uh, you know, it's growing every year since I got, I mean, I got in the league in 2014 and to see how much it's grown um, even since then has been, you know, amazing. And it's amazing to be a part of. Um, you know, obviously we, we want to get to another level. That's what we're, we're always trying to do. But right now, I think that, you know, it's at the epitome of what we're supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, the amount of respect and love that we're getting from across the country and other countries and all over the world, uh, I think has been huge. Um, you know, I've really enjoyed watching the playoffs. I think it's, it's been a great representation of, of, you know, who we are as a league and, you know, obviously where we're trying to go as a league. So, um, you know, we have a long way to go. We know that, but we're taking we're taking huge strides daily uh, as a league and, you know, as women's basketball across the world. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Howard? Hey, Kayla. Forgive me if it's hard to hear me. I'm driving. My cell phone service kind of going in and out. Um, but r real quick, um, you know, you talked a little bit about knowing what Cheryl does. And, you know, obviously familiarity with the system. I'm curious, like, what's a thing that's happened over the first couple of days where that, you know, a specific moment where that clicked? Is, you know, that was something taken straight from what you saw with the Lynx. Um, I think it's definitely uh, more so on defense. You know, I know what the type of schemes she's trying to run, um, you know, the nail help, all of those things. What she expects on the defensive end, trying to be a leader in that aspect, um, being on the nail because, you know, the rest follows. Uh, obviously, everybody knows I play for the Lynx and I play for Cheryl. So I'm getting a lot of questions during during practice about what, where we need to be um, in our sets. And, you know, obviously, this side out of bounds, baseline out of bounds. But defense is somewhere where I feel like I can really, um, you know, help the rest of the, the girls um, and just what she what she expects top to bottom because uh, it's not easy. And she has, she, you know, she's a defensive minded coach. So so being able to kind of implement that uh, by example has been something that I've been really trying to be focused on. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Howard. Uh, Gabe, go ahead. Hey, Kayla, thanks for your time. Um, so I'm, I was wondering about the the young bucks you got on the team now, you know, Ryan and Melissa and Shakira and Aaliyah, you know, mm -hmm. all super young players coming into this league, maybe future stars. What have you seen from them in this camp? A lot of energy. You know, I think we have a great mix of kind of young and old uh, you know, all the way from Aaliyah Boston to Angel McCautry. I think it's been it's yeah. been really, really cool to kind of see how we've been able to mesh. Uh, but then, you know, you know, the young bucks they're, they're they're going in head on, you know. And I think that's that's kind of how you have to do it when you're younger. Uh, you're gonna make mistakes, but just to bring the energy, uh, I've been really impressed, uh, top to bottom. They all bring something a little bit different, uh, but you know, their confidence is through the roof, and I think it should be. And that's how, that's how kind of how how you have to approach USAB is you know bringing your whole skill set. And, and allowing it to speak for itself. So I've been really impressed uh, with all four of them. 
uh, and, it, and it's been it's been cool to see because obviously you know you play against them what twice a year, but to actually see them every day and and interact with them, they're you know they're great kids. So uh, it's been cool, and I remember being in those type of situations. So mm-hmm. um, you know, just trying to be be there for them and you know talk to them when I can. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been it's been a good time. Okay, and just a just a fun one. Is there a difference between uh, Lynx coach Cheryl Reeve and USA coach Cheryl Reeve? <laughs> uh yeah for sure i mean obviously <laughs> okay. she, she has to be uh a little bit more relaxed in the process uh you know she's built such a great reputation with the Lynx uh in that franchise she she holds us to a very very high standard and same with usab but you know it's different uh it's definitely different <laughs> appreciate it thank you and the last one will be for bob hey kayla how are you i'm good how are you doing good Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. You kind you kind of already answered this one already, but I'll I'll, I'll ask it kind of in a different way. Um, in terms of like folks like Sue and others, you know, not in camp. What's is it feel any different to you this time around than it has in the past? I mean, yeah, you know, filling the void of uh, Sue or D uh, is really hard. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a collective effort. It's about the people who have that experience, whether it's overseas, WNBA, or, you know, with this USAB team. Um, and just, you know, obviously Cheryl's a new voice as well. It's a collective effort. And I think that that's something that we're, we're continuing to find in our identity in this new wave. Um, and, you know, we know, we, we know that. We understand that. We know what, what kind of pressure and um, weight that comes with. Um, but it's like I said, it's, it's a day-by-day process. And Coach, just, Coach talked about that the first day is that we have to embrace the journey and that comes with it, you know, finding our new identity, finding our new leadership. And it might, it might not just be one or two people. It's going to be a collective effort. And I think that that's something that I'm, we're really looking forward to and into growing into. Uh, and like I said, it's a day by day process, but, you know, filling the void of those types of players and um, the, the things that they've done for USAB, it's, it's not just one or two people. It's a collective effort. Did you, as an individual, come into this um, with a different mindset this time around than you had? For sure. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, I turned 30 this year. um, And, you know, the experience that I've had, whether it's overseas, WNBA, or with USAB, um, I feel like what I bring to the table and the knowledge that I have, whether it's the overseas game or WNBA, um, can really help this team. And I I, I came in with that confidence of whether it's leading by example or being able to speak up when I need to um, and, and being able to feel part of that void that that this team needs. Do you, do you feel any additional pressure with that? Not at all. No. Good for you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Kayla. Thanks guys. Thank you. We'll be along with Ariel.